to those of us who were just the ordinary workers who were trying to get the right result in court, we didn't even realize how significant the Sparren case was to the Rev. It wasn't until long after the case was over that I learned from reports that the Rev. actually went to the OHEL every day during the trial of the Sparren case. It wasn't until there was the deposition of the Rev. with a magnificent concluding statement in the deposition. I was in there at the apartment at the Rebetzin's Allah Shalom's deposition and when she was asked by our opponent did your father own the Sparrow? What did he have? What were his, what did he own? And she replied my father was owned by the Hasidim and there was nothing that he owned separately because the Hasidim owned him. That was a magnificent answer. And lawyers think that it was put in her mouth by the lawyers. I can tell you, I discussed her deposition with her. But that sentence came, and as I say, so much of what happened during that trial was Siata Deshmaya was clearly uh, ordained by Akadosh Baruch Hu so as to achieve the result. Judge Sifton, I have to tell you, I've heard from different people, viewed this as the most important and most interesting case in his career. There's a shliach who told me that in his later years, after he was already a retired judge, there was one time when he met a Chabad shliach and Judge Sifton took a card out of his pocket which said Charles Sifton and he gave it to the shliach and he said, do you know who I am? Because he viewed that decision as being a critical, central, important point in his career as a judge. So it's a pleasure for me, really, to be here to fabrang with you on this yontif of Hay Tavis. As I say, a period of 32 years since the decision came down. 32 is late, but so much has happened in those 32 years. And the attitude that Judge Sifton showed and the respect he showed and the respect that the world showed to our tradition and our halakha is one that is endangered today. You read the papers and you're concerned. I have to be concerned about what is going on in the world today with regard to attitudes towards us, towards Jews, towards Chabad, towards all, all practicing Jews. And maybe, maybe the hint is that 32, 32 years ago is on the one hand lave, but 32 years, 32 is also a gematria for Beth, for tears. And one wonders whether over this period of 32 years, attitudes have changed so significantly that we have to worry today at a time of Simcha may also have an expression at the same time of concern. Thank you.